Hello, I'm Mike Fitzgerald with Bobcat Company. Today I'm going to show you key maintenance points on your machine. This is important for daily checks and routine maintenance that will extend the life of your machine. To open the rear door, reach into the slot on the right side of the rear door and pull the latch handle, then pull the rear door open. The rear door is equipped with a door stop feature on the top hinge. Move the door stop into the engaged position to hold the door open. Move the door stop in to allow the door to close. The door latch striker can be adjusted up or down for alignment with the door latch. Here's the open rear of the machine. You can access the fuel fill, fuel filter, air filter, engine belts, and other key engine components. To better access the cooling package, you can raise the rear grill. To raise the rear grill, stop the engine and open the rear door. You'll need the prop rod to hold the rear grill open. The prop rod is stored alongside the fuel tank. Raise the rear grill and insert the prop rod into the rear grill. The cooling package can then be raised. Now you can check the engine oil level, add oil if needed through the oil fill location, remove and replace the air filter if the display has notified you of a restriction, and drain water from the fuel filter if needed. When those maintenance items have been checked and addressed, you can close up the engine compartment. First, lower the cooling package, then lower the rear grill. To lower the rear grill, remove the prop rod from the rear grill. Lower, then clip the prop rod back into the storage position. And close the rear door. Remember, the rear door must be closed before operating the machine. Our series loaders have the battery and numerous hydraulic system components protected underneath the one-piece tip-up cab. There's a positive battery terminal in the engine compartment to boost or jumpstart a machine when needed. The fresh air filter is located behind the left side window outside the operator cab. The recirculation filter is located behind the operator seat inside the operator cab. The air conditioning condenser can be swung open to allow greater access for cleaning. A number of locations require lubrication at the correct intervals detailed in your machine's service schedule. Record the operating hours each time you lubricate the Bobcat loader. And always use a good quality lithium-based multi-purpose grease. On each side of the machine there is a grease point at the following locations the upper and lower end of the follower link, the front and rear end of the driver assembly, the rod and base end of the lift cylinder, the rod and base end of the tilt cylinder, the bobtatch pivot pin, and the bobtatch wedge pin. If you have the power bobtatch system, there is also one on each end of the power bobtatch hydraulic cylinder. On torsion suspension equipped machines, there are also three grease points per side on the rear torsion axle spindles and two grease points per side on the front torsion axle spindles. You can easily check hydraulic oil level through the sight glass on the side of the machine. Now you have a good overview of how to access key service points of your machine. For more information, see your operation and maintenance manual, talk to your local Bobcat dealer, or visit bobcat.com.